Welcome back guys to another video and today's video is another vlog it is currently the day after my birthday and obviously I did say I was gonna vlog on my birthday but I was ill I still am ill but I am feeling a bit better so we're back again with another vlog and guys it's the moment of truth I finally got my first car it's absolutely unbelievable and I cannot wait to show you guys. So if you're new to the channel, do not forget to like and subscribe and turn those notifications on so you do not miss a video. And guys, the car is it's unbelievable. I can't, I can't believe it till this day. I mean, even though it was yesterday, I still cannot believe I own a car. And this type of car is absolutely incredible. What's going on, Bean? Hello, man. What up? What's up, man? You see my car, G? You like it? Looks nice, isn't it? Beanie man, I can't believe it. Beans got a car. So yes, the car is right in front of me, and you know what? It's, I'm just looking at it, and it's just so shiny and so aggressive. It's absolutely crazy. I can't believe it. I, I own a car. What is this? It's absolutely incredible. I cannot believe it. I own a car, and it's goddamn beautiful. So, in three, two, one. Oi, guys, look at this. Look at this. Bam, look at this. BMW 1 Series. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh, oh. Look at the rims. Look at the rims. Oh, the blue calipers. Oh, oh guys, look at this. Are you insane? I can't even get that. <laughs> Yo, guys, this car, yeah, is one. Absolutely beast of a car. I cannot believe it. Look at this. This car here, yeah, it like it doesn't do justice. Like seeing it on like on YouTube. If you were to see it in person, you'd be thinking, I, I can't believe it, man. But look at this. We got the the two exhausts. Sound absolutely beautiful. It's the one series, the diesel. And uh, guys, I just can't believe it. It's absolutely incredible. It's looking at insane. It's my car. It's just absolutely unbelievable. So. I'm gonna show you the interior and you just talk about the car. So when I unlock the car like this, mirrors open up like that. Hey, look at this man, look at this. Oh my days. Ooh. Ooh. Guys, I can't believe it man. I own a goddamn BMW 1 series. This is absolutely insane. Look at this. Look at the look at the interior. Manual, come on, you know what I mean? Just driving manuals and that. No biggie, no biggie. The back, looking all nice. You know what I mean, it's got the, the M Performance seat belts and everything. It doesn't have the full M Performance kit, but nonetheless, I will be getting the M Performance kit. So like the splitter and all that stuff to make it look even nicer. So, guys, I'm just sinking it all in, man. It's absolutely unbelievable. You know what? I'm just gonna start the car. You know what I mean? Put on a clutch. Here we go, come on, look at this, we got the CarPlay all synced up to my phone You know what I mean, just look at this man, it's absolutely beautiful We got the Sport Mode, Sport, Comfort, Eco, so if we go to Eco, it should switch it all to blue just like that You know what I'm saying, that all pops up uh, Comfort, it just goes back to like that And then Race, is actually changes like quite of the, like, changes quite a lot of the clock So, do like that and it focuses, if, it, if it will focus like that, yeah so looks real good when you switch on like different ones so yeah i'm loving it man i'm loving it i'm loving it guys this car is absolutely unbelievable i i, I, I generally cannot believe it if you can see this lights up the interior but it's best to show you at night so if i can get a night clip then i'll definitely show you guys but the whole the whole light strip it just it's like built into the the interior so this all lights up this all lights up, it's absolutely unbelievable man, this car is an absolute beast. So yeah, I can't believe it, I've got my own car. Guys, I have my own car, I cannot believe it. It's, it's, it's incredible, uh, honestly, I've been waiting my whole life for a car. And I'm sitting in my, my car, I can't believe it man, honestly. It's, it's, it's crazy, it really is crazy. Yeah, I know I'm still sick, so obviously don't expect much. But obviously I will be doing like a proper detailed like review like later on and uh yeah so I'm just thinking it all in I still cannot believe it I own a car so cool features you know what I mean just got the Apple CarPlay um you know settings and stuff you can change the wallpaper um always dark automatic you know what I mean so it's wallpaper switch to any wallpaper you want we'll go for this one make it look nice set done 
back out like that. Boom, there you go, looking nice and clean. Now say we've got the Spotify, the WhatsApp, the messages all hooked up. And yeah, it's looking clean. Yeah, so we've got the gear sticking on me. Looking really nice, looking really nice and really, really cool. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's looking, looking pristine. Got the keys. I don't know why it's, it just like, it just doesn't focus in this car. There we go. So look, the keys looking nice. And then, yeah, so uh, it's pretty much it. Well, down here anyways. The back, I haven't even sat in the back, you know. But the back looks very, very, very nice. And uh, yeah, so it just it, there is quite a lot of space in here as well it's, it's very spacious very very spacious so yeah i would give it a rev but obviously it being a diesel you're not gonna get much sound out of it but what i do plan on doing is getting a exhaust a aftermarket exhaust fi exhaust or uh i don't know how to call i don't know i don't know how to call it it's acropotic i don't know but like obviously them exhausts are meant for the the, the, the petrol version so I don't know if there is uh, exhaust out there for the diesel version. I'm just hoping there is. And uh, yeah, it's saying there's a new software version. Yeah, I'm going to go update that. But yeah, guys. So yeah, click the boot button. Boot pops up. Just lift it up. And there you go. Look at this one. So clean. So much space. And then when you lift it underneath, you've got more space. Look at that. So all right. <laughs> let's open the hood to see what this thing's packing. One. See, boom, open it like that. Let's go over to the hood. All right, you ready? Oh man, this is it's insane. All right, three, two, one. Yeah. Oh man, look at this. Look at this. Twin power turbo. No, I'm saying this is absolutely insane for a first car. I cannot believe it. I generally cannot believe it. Look how tidy it is, man. Oh my days. So. The specs on this car, I don't know too much because obviously I just got the car yesterday, but I'm pretty sure it has um, 140 horsepower um, around, I think it was uh, once 170 new meters of torque or, or higher, I'm not too sure, the rough est estimate, the horsepower I'm pretty sure I'm spot on with the horsepower, but nonetheless man, this car is absolutely amazing, look at that, look at the, the bar, this is insane man, I cannot believe it, I really cannot, the fluids, all that stuff don't think i'll be doing anything like that any changes um engine wise if i was to ever upgrade this i don't think i would do nothing to be honest i mean it's it's already perfect the way it is and uh yeah so yeah i did say i was gonna do some uh some mods onto this car but bear in mind i gotta keep um some of the stuff stuck so if i wanted to sell it that like, it wouldn't drop in price so make sure that if i only get any mods then it's gotta like raise the price or just keep the price lower and yeah, basically. So, this already has some of the M performance uh, parts on it, I'll show you. So, it's already got the spoiler, as you can see. Yeah, the spoiler looks very nice. I really do. I love it, man. I absolutely love it. It's got the spoiler, um, the fin. I don't think not all cars, not all one series come with the, the shark fin. And uh, what else? It's got the, the vents. But with the M performance kit, you actually get, see this here, or this here, this would be um, forced carbon fiber. So yeah, that would change, and then um, there's a splitter on the sides of the car, which obviously I don't have on this car. But yeah, I'm definitely, definitely looking to get the air performance kit, but it is quite a lot nonetheless. But you know what I mean, just gotta work for it. So yeah, look at that man. Oh, look at that man. Oh, look at that man. Look at it. Look at the grill. Now I'm saying, it's car man is absolutely beautiful. I cannot believe it. I generally cannot believe it. So yeah, let's have a look in the, the passenger side. I'm not saying if I was to unlock the car. Hold on. One must unlock the car. It's like that. There we go. Let's have a sit in the passenger side. It's the first time me ever sitting in the passenger. Um, not passenger. Back. I sit passenger the whole time. And for me, okay. Um, space wise for me, it's not that bad. Obviously, I'm a big guy, long legs. And obviously the way I see sit like sit, it's not too bad. Obviously my legs are touching, but ask us how far my uh, my seat is. But I do love it. As you can see, it's got like the red lighting or orange lighting. The camera would focus. You know what I mean? But in the dark, you can change the colours to like a green, uh, orange, purple, blue, all of that. So yeah, it's pretty cool, man. I'm liking it, I'm liking it. Space in the back is very, very, very neat and tidy. There's already fingerprint marks. I don't know if you guys can see it. 
but there's like, I don't know, yeah, you guys cannot see, but there's like massive fingerprint marks right there, and uh, yeah, that is either Tiago or Marcelo. So, it's just telling me here that the preparation has started for the upgrade. Um, that's all, the, oh wait, it's not done, it's just preparing, I don't know what is going on. Hopefully I haven't broke the car, I imagine that. So, yeah guys, this car is absolutely amazing, and now, let's see if I can record a little drive with the dad. So yes, I just finished uh, driving with the dad, uh, literally we went to a car park and then we drove around getting the braking point right and like um, driving like off a hill and like going over bumps and stuff. I literally, at the start, obviously I was stalling, at the start I was stalling, but then I started getting used to it and now I just got the biting point to a T, literally I'm not, I don't, I, I can't see myself failing the driving lesson, like the driving exam. Theory! That's that, that's another story, that's another story. But like, the driving exam, I, I don't think I'm gonna fail it. I will, obviously I didn't record because I was just f f like solely focusing on myself because I just tried to get better if you know what I mean. But yeah, um, the dad did record a few bits so I'm just gonna get and set them there. I will, obviously I didn't record because I was just f f like solely focusing on myself because I just tried to get better if you know what I mean. But yeah. So, one thing I wanted to show you guys is that, let me just turn off this music, yeah? I just wanted to show you guys, if we go to car and you go to driving information and you go to sport displays and this lit, it's got a whole like track thing, you know what I mean? So you got the PSI, so how much uh, boost and you got the horsepower you're using, you got the newton meters of torque, you know, like how much uh, the, the, gra the gravities, you know what I'm saying? I don't even know what it, what is it? I must call it gravities, yeah, with the T's and then so like how much your yeah, it's, I, I don't really need to worry about that. I want to see that, and I want to see that go all the way up there, and that all the way up there, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, uh, I just figured out the Nord 260 on this car is an 8.2 second for a 140 brake horsepower car with 220 new meters of torque, which I found out too. That's not too bad, that is not too bad. Of course, the Jazz car is just crazy because he does it in like sub three seconds, and it's just stupidly fast, you know what I'm saying? This versus that, I, of course it's gonna win you. Yeah. But this versus that Range Rover over there, this is this is smoking it, it's absolutely smoking it. You know what I'm saying, all I have to do is just put it in spot, you know what I'm saying, just switch the dash, you know what I'm saying, everything goes crazy, you know what I'm saying, and then we go zooming. So yes guys, that is the end of this video. Uh, yeah, I can't believe it, I have a BMW 1 Series all to myself and this, it's gonna be insane. The things I'm gonna be doing to this only because due to it's a diesel, yeah. I can't. It limits myself on what I can do. The M performance kit is definitely something that I want to be getting on this. Um, due to the color as well. Obviously, me getting the M performance kit may not be the best thing to to exterior wise, if you know what I mean. Because obviously, the M performance kit, most of the parts are black and forged carbon. Forged carbon, you'll be able to see. But since this car is black, you won't be able to get the whole. Sink it all in if you know what I mean. So may wrap it may not we'll see we'll see we'll see so guys I just hope you guys enjoyed this video did not forget to like and subscribe and uh, Yeah, um, if you haven't like seen my Instagram already I will be posting quite a lot about this car. You know, what I mean this is just my car. You know what I'm saying so yeah, make sure you go check out my Instagram. It, it, it will be here. You know what I'm saying? It'll be here. So yeah, make sure you guys check it out and thanks for watching Don't forget to like and subscribe and catch you in. Peace out